Hi there. This is my eighth electronics video. I'm videotaping each of my projects and putting them on YouTube for the sake of making a portfolio for my future employers. This is a temperature sensing unit. I have it calibrated so that I will get 5 volt logic when uh, the temperature in the room drops below 18 degrees and low logic when it, when it grows to be over 22 degrees. This is a design that we put together in class. We analyzed it. I've configured it differently, a little bit differently than what we did in class and I've soldered it to a proto board. So this is our main circuit right here. This is the temperature sensing circuit. This uh, transistor like thing right here is the actual temperature sensor. It's got about one degree off of self heating so it's pretty accurate. It's not exactly accurate but we need two 9 volt batteries. I've got a three pack here. One will give us a positive 9 volt voltage and one will give us a, a negative voltage for our operational amplifier. We've got a 5 volt regulator here, which will be used uh, in series with our 9 volt source, which will give us a 5 volt regulated uh, signal for our Schmidt trigger. The next part of the circuit is the solid state relay. Now these are nifty because I can use a 5 volt digital signal to activate any household appliance, such as a heater. I can plug anything I want into these two plugs as it's configured, and I can activate it and deactivate it using any 5 volt logic. I've got a bag of ice here and I've got my finger which is obviously warm enough to uh, to bring the, uh, the the temperature sensor back to a heated uh, level. I've got this configured so that this LED, the, lo the logic here will go high when it goes below 18 degrees and it will go low once it has gone back up to about 22 degrees. So before I actually plug the main circuit in what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up. I'm going to power up my circuit. We'll see if it's uh, we'll see how cold it is in, or how hot it is in here right now. So we know that it it started off being below 18 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the heat from my finger, apply it to the temperature sensor. And it'll take a second. As you can see, the the uh, the power goes low. So right now, if I were to plug this in, the heater right here would not would not power up. So now I will plug this in to my extension power, power bar down here. So I'm going to take my bag of ice and I'm going to apply it to the temperature sensor, bringing it down past below 18 degrees Celsius. So I've got it, it's probably at about 5 or 6 degrees right now, that temperature sensor. So now, the heater's on. I can simply take my finger, apply it to the temperature sensor, turns off. 